Hey everyone, happy holidays. Well, according to Pokemon Go at least, it's Holiday Cup. Oh, and fun. Go bad like still building my other character. You know what, I got something I want to try to see if we can fix that. I'll just need to go... Bye bye for a second of a second. Right, and if this doesn't work, then nothing's gonna work. Wonderful. So yeah, as much as I was enjoying that Shadow Pokemon team I was using the past few sets, I only got two sets left before I hit my limit for today. So if I want to try a different team, it's basically not or another. One for a test run in case for some reason the other team doesn't work. And the other... We're basically giving ourselves two chances to actually have a good run with this team. And considering that this is going to be the first time I ever use this team, even at all, let alone the holiday cut setting, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Already a terrible start. Oof, and I think like I... Ugh, you know what? I probably could have just gone to Wigglytuff. That was probably the safer swap of the two. Mm, but I mean, like, this at least gives me a chance to go up against Altaria. So we'll just see which, who actually perseveres more fluidly. Probably the Altaria. But I mean, like, I resist sky attacks so is neutral to me. That said, I'm not. Oh, <laughs> blocking this, not blocking the sky attack. I guess actually was smarter play. All part of actually trying to learn my Pokemon in a little bit. All right. Thank you, Windows. I would have totally not survived if you weren't around to tell me that you did a virus scan. Like, I mean, I hear people complain about Windows all the time, and yet, like, that's the first time I've actually had it interrupt the stream. It is what it is, I suppose. We'll just... It's, it's one little sound effect, and... I think acknowledging it kind of makes it a little bit better, because, like... It's not... It adds to the commentary, I suppose, that's what I'm trying to say. I just realized the predicament that I'm kind of in with my team, like, Saiyan slash walls, everyone else, pretty hard. I actually kind of wonder between the two if, like, also don't exactly have that many great options against Aloha Marowak. Now, which kind of leads to its own problems. Ugh. Uh, we'll, I guess we'll just see how it plays out. I might just, I might just go into concentration mode to try to see, see if there's any sort of way to salvage this. I have learned something very important about this team, and that's. My land turn is very valuable, so I need to be a lot more careful with it. And also, it's a smart play not to have it as the lead. Like, I'm kind of wondering like, if I'm even better off having Wigglytuff as the lead. For the same reasons that I ended up ultimately going with Shadow, Shadow Aerodactyl as the lead on the other team. Just having raw damage possibly be being better than... You know, you probably don't have a fire move. Let's see if, uh, let's see if just not wasting my energy pays off. This game plan is just gonna be a water ball, water ball. And of course you get priority. Well, hypothetically, my plan would have worked. But they were prepared, <laughs> they prepared for it in their own way. So, yeah. Saving the shield killed her. Cast form kind of has a similar role to Obama Snow. 
and Wigglytuff kind of has a similar role to Aerodactyl. The two of them cover different Pokemon, but they, the fact that they both have a strong hitting fast move is kind of more what I'm talking about. So I want to actually try having Wigglytuff as the lead this time. Let's see. And maybe I'll put Lantern in the back because... I feel like the things that Garner Walt Wiggly Tough include a long Marowak. I'm blanking out on the other Pokemon, but I kind of feel like Lantern would be able to hard swap into them. So, it messes around with the graphic yet again, but we can give it a shot and see how it goes. And of course, I get stuck with a poison type the moment I swap my fairy types to lead. <sighs> the issue is like if I go into lantern, that just sets me up for an even worse situation. So I think I'll just like let myself get hard swap and see what they bring out. I mean, but if the lone right shoe is the worst they have, then uh, I can deal with that. The swap was definitely worth it if this alone right shoe is the worst thing that they can possibly bring out to me. Um, what stinks is I got a shield, cause I got way too crippled. Hopefully I can make this shield worth it though. Eh, pretty solid damage. Maybe I can even get to one more water ball before going down. It was a big maybe, I'll admit. But it's not the it's not completely in vain. I think I can actually like get lantern in here now. I'm like get the I was hoping to get the energy I wanted before getting knocked out. Do they have enough for grass knot? I don't think they have enough for grass knot. And I realize they still have two Pokemon in the back. Remember when I was saying that Roserade would be just as much of a problem for Lantern, if not more so, than the Wigglytuff? Well, I think we're gonna see firsthand why. Well, at least, at least I got rid of both shields. Interesting swapping into Togekiss. I think I can see how this is going down, and I hate that it's working. I mean, at least I won't let my last shield go to waste. If I can somehow get a chance to finish it off, though, I think I have enough energy for... a nice beam. Well, I guess we'll never know now, shall we? I think the problem is, like... I... I think the problem of this team is that it's relying too much on Sikubi the Lantern. If Lantern goes down, I get screwed. So I'll probably play around with this after the stream is over. Maybe even in between sets. Unfortunately, I'm kind of my suspicions about. Snowy cast form not really being that good just because you can't get good symmetry with it. I kind of have a feeling like this. The issue. But I'm just determined to just keep through with this set. Keep this team through this set. Who knows? Maybe the more I use it, the more custom I'll, I'll get comfortable enough with it that I'll know exactly when to bring in which Pokemon to which thing. Speaking of which, like, is this a good thing for me? Who knows? I'm not, like, whittling it down fast enough with charm, so I kind of expect not. Uh, let's see how well I take a Thunderbolt. Half hoping that's not secretly a Hydro Pump. Not very well. But I think I can, like, just charm it down the rest of the way and just shield whatever comes out next. Double perk that I have enough energy stored up to just unleash whatever charge move I want on the next Pokemon that comes out. So at least I won't feel like the energy's been wasted. 
I am kind of like Alpha Shield, which sucks. Speaking of which, I didn't actually catch what type it was. Probably doesn't matter if they swap to it last second. But I also can't forget that they actually like stored up a bunch of energy. I get the feeling that's going to play a role later in the match. Uh, for some reason, I thought I'd be neutral against ice. That's going to like bite me in the butt. Yep, kind of saw that coming. But I mean, at least I have enough for a water ball. Almost enough for a blizzard. Ah, shoot. I was going to try to bait them out, but uh, isn't... Is it worth using my last shield here? Probably not, but I went for it anyways. And time will tell how much I regret that decision. Now... Well, I'm gonna try this just because I don't really got much to lose at this point. If I can get rid of this Frost Last before it gets to a charge move, maybe we can start out on even ground against the last Pokemon. Like, would have loved to like even get a tiny bit extra energy going to last one. Oh, by last one, I mean one of two last ones. Oh man, it would have been fun to like have Casper come out here. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. <laughs> Unfortunately, it backfired. I think what my opponent was trying to do there is like get me to waste my energy on their com almost fainted Pokemon. But b they don't know how incompetent I am with my tapping. So I was still tapping the fast move. Even though I was trying to go for the charge move. And <laughs> what do you know, my incompetence actually worked in my favor for once. Honestly, I was actually sort of hoping that they actually would take me out, because then I could just bring Castform in, and before they could get the energy up for a charge move, like take it out with Powder Snow. But this works too. So I think that's one win for two losses. Uh, time will tell if we're just starting to get a feel for this team, or if I got lucky. Anyways, onwards next battle. Nice. Would Casper have been better to catch on that? Yes. But this isn't bad either. And you know what? I think I'm just gonna stay in. I resist a Shadow Ball. And... We'll see how much the Avalanche does. A painful amount, but... The fast moves are doing so little to me that I could just farm away. And I don't even have to waste another shield. I think that's the cool part about all this. And a smart play might have been to swap into Lantern. But maybe not. Like, they could just swap into something to counteract me. So I'd rather just get Lantern in here safely, get a little chip damage and a shield along the way even. Now I kind of wish I had a water fast move for this situation, but... Hmm. You know what? Ugh. I'm just gonna shield. I'm more worried about the Shadow Ball than the Bone Club, but I don't know how much damage a Bone Club will do yet. So I guess it was better safe than sorry. Like, I get the feeling that blocking a Bone Club damage... Oh, I definitely could have taken a Bone Club. That was definitely, like, Regret City. Now... Do we have enough for a Shadow Ball now? <sighs> do I really, am I really gonna risk it? So, game plan here. I have enough to go for a Hydro Pump, but I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt. Expecting them to shield. Worst case scenario, they don't shield. And I can cripple them in the next move, but like, Hydro Pump is a fairly predictable move. It takes so much energy to get to that even if you don't count, you can just tell when they're ready to unleash a move like a Hydro Pump or an Earthquake. You know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna go into Cast Form now because I'm that, I'm doing double damage, and if I just like stay let Lantern stay in here. Until it gets knocked out. I'm just giving the Altaria enough time to get the energy to just Brave Bird spam me. 
and then I could actually be in trouble. Kind of think that he wasn't actually able to use the shield, but I mean, we're catching up. We got two losses, but two wins in our belt. If I win this next one, we're actually going to be we're going to do better than we did with our first round with the Shadow Pokemon team, and that's an ordeal I can get behind. I thought I, I thought I skipped some music that had voices in it. Ah oh well. I guess technically it wasn't a voice, it was just like a grunt. Something weird like that. And this song kind of just fits me a bit more anyways. <sighs> I'm gonna just stay in with a glow tough because I swapped the lantern, they'll swap to a hard counter. If I swap in the cast form... <laughs> Then I had just pretty much given the Marowak a meal for lunch. Actually, like, if Shadow Bone's the move that they're gonna go with, this could actually work. Let's see what they do next. There's another Shadow Bone. And we'll see if they want a shield or not. I, I think it's a win win for me, because I. I think it's low enough to get taken out even by this resisted move, but I will also take a free shield. Especially considering that, like, I'm just trying to set up the way for Lantern to come in here without worrying about it swapping into a card counter. Now, do I want to sh I'm good. Yeah, I'm just gonna shield now. Because it could be a Bone Club. And that sh But that Shadow Bone is gonna de definitely do more. I kinda wanna farm it down for energy, but I don't know if I can take it out fast enough. I mean, this is how we learn, though. Okay, let's just go for the Thunderbolt. It's a safe play. It'd be really nice to get a Hydro Pump off on it, but uh, they still have a shield, so it's a big risk. And that Thunderbolt did a solid amount of damage in of itself. I'm actually kind of wondering if I'm, like, being too risky. Like, I, if I should, like, swap Lantern away, just in case I need it for the last Pokemon. You know what, let's do that now. I can afford to have Cast Form get charmed away. Especially because like it's low enough in hope that a water ball will do the job. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do I'm just gonna like purposely like stall for a little more time. Cause I just realized that their last Pokemon uh, is something that Yeah, it's kinda afraid this would be the case. I think it's fine because I have a shield and I can just save it for when Lantern comes back in. But I just realized that they can just swap into a Pokemon. Their last Pokemon might be something good for Lantern and I could be screwing myself a good opportunity to get Lantern out on the field. Hopefully like this little bit of chip damage that Cast Form adds on to the battle before going down is worth it. Because I swear, if I like lose this battle, because if giving lantern, if giving cast form more time in the sun causes me to lose this battle, I'll be a little salty. Like I'm just gonna play it safe and use the shield now. A little worried that it might be better to use it later. Just, but I mean, even though it's resisted and I take it, they could. Get, I was worried they would have gotten a couple fast moves in, and I'd be low enough on health that that would have made a difference. So, would it have been smarter for me just to stay with Lantern? Maybe. Did it end up working in the end? Yes. It ended up working either way. So hey! This team's already doing better. Or at least it did better in its first round than the Shadow Pokemon team did. Kinda curious to see how it'll do now that I'm warmed up with it. Now, please, Nova, just get in on this first Pokeball. I don't really have that many supplies to work with. Is this going to be the battle because it's a rank 13? No. Maybe the next one will, and it'd be nice if it would, because that's the last battle this set I can do tonight. So, I just know there's a couple new Pokemon. Picking up around here. 
So if you give me a sec to like check those out, make sure I'm not missing out on any shinies. We'll do that last set net. After that, take care.